Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to override styles in subsequent CSS. Our pink text class overrode our body elements CSS de declaration, meaning this used to be green and then it was pink when we added this pink text into there. We just proved that our classes will override the body's elements, body elements CSS. So the next logical question is, what can we do to override our pink text class? So if pink text overrides body, what overrides pink text? So we're going to create an additional CSS class called blue text that gives an element the color blue. Make sure it's below your pink text class declaration. So this is the pink text class declaration and we're going to create a new element that's going to be called blue text. And then we're going to apply the blue text class to our h1 element in addition to the pink text element. So with pink text, we're going to make this one blue text. We apply multiple classes to the HTML element in is done with a space in between. Um, so basically they're just saying that we need to make sure to put the space in here. And then they're saying, note, it doesn't matter which order the classes are listed in the HTML element, meaning if the blue text was listed in front of the pink text, it would still act the same. It's going to be more related to the way that these are organized in the style sheet. However, the order of the class declarations in style sections is what's important. The second declaration will always take precedent over the first. Because blue text is declared second, it overrides the attribute of pink text. Now you might be asking, why has it not turned blue yet? It's because we haven't filled this part in. So we want to go color blue. And this will make this go blue. Now, what would happen if we had put the blue text in above it? Nothing, because the computer renders down and it says, okay, it wants the blue text and the pink text and the pink text is the last element or the last CSS selector to be selected. And so I'm going to get rid of the blue text one and put it back down here. And then the color should turn blue again. And this should pass our tests. Okay, great. So I hope that this all makes sense. Um, another th a point that they made is that it wouldn't matter if pink text and blue text were mixed up. As you can see, it didn't make a difference there. However, if we were to put pink text below blue text, you can see that it would turn pink again. So the order in the HTML class doesn't matter as long as they're both in the same CSS uh, line. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope that me going over it in a few different ways made it so that this video is especially useful. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.